we're in Darren Koo, which is near um, Cappadocia, and we've come to the underground city, which is absolutely amazing. It's about eight floors deep, carved out of stone, and it's just absolutely just insane. Uh, inside, it's, it's proper Indiana Jones-esque, and there are huge stone rolling doors which are used to block some of the tunnels. And you can see one here, which is pretty pretty amazing. But we're going to go and do some more exploring. The tunnels are really quite low in places, and there's not much light bulbs down in this one. So we've just come down another tunnel, which is really, really low. We have to bend down through most of it to go to it. To this, which is the grave chamber, which is possibly the deepest part. We're not, we're not sure. Um, but there was a grave in here where they found um, uh, bodies. Um, and it's, a, it's eerily spooky, but I don't, I'm not entirely sure how deep we are now, but we've come down a long way. This is right near the very bottom of the cave system. We've come down about seven or eight floors now, um, deep. And then this is the church, which is quite a large cavern hollowed out at the bottom of the rock. Um, as you can see behind me, it's uh, in the shape of a cross. And it's, it's quite a large area. It's a pretty impressive uh, structure. As much as we keep on thinking we're at the bottom, we keep on ending up going down further and further. And I'm pretty sure now this is the very deepest part because um, we've just found a ventilation shaft which goes all the way up to the, the surface and actually it goes a little bit further down as well so maybe there is a deeper area. So this is the living area in the cave system uh, and there's a ventilation shaft um, just across the way there which was used to bring um, all, all the materials in and out of the, the cave system, including people if they died, it was the quickest way to get things in and out. Um, it was also used for communication. If anyone above ground um, could see um, uh, people invading or coming to a, anyone who was a threat, they would signal down the tunnel uh, and then um, everyone would just use lights to communicate and so everyone would speak. And the holes in the ground here were used as um, escape tunnels, which uh, the people who were living here would jump down to get out um, of, of the way, basically. And um, the rolling stone doors would then seal up the whole cave system so no one else could get in. We're only two floors deep here. Um, but there's a ventilation shaft above me and this is the only way that the inhabitants could tell whether it is night or day. So this area here would have originally been open uh, and when it rained this, this um, sunken platform here would have collected the rainwater and then using a series of channels they would have um, directed the water further and deeper into the um, caves and they've actually got storage cuts cut into the rock where they can store the water. It's pretty amazing. It's the way to the above ground. 